So this week, the 92 coming back. Are you ready? So like I said last week, the 92's gotta come back in so I can start putting all the uh, scrap stuff in it. It's still laying on here, the tractor's got the forks on it. If I spin around, there's the 92 body. So basically we're gonna do what we did last time. The uh, hooks on the tractor will basically go into the back window, pick up under the roof, and just carry it all the way down to the drive, uh, driveway down into the garage. And I've moved out everything from the spare bay and it's all kind of spread around the garage a little bit out of the way till I can put all the junk in, put all the spare K member and the rear end, the 7.5 rear end in there. And then it's going to the scrapper and then I have my bay back. All right, so with the 92 brought up to the garage and set in place on some jack stands, it's time to get all the other pieces off the 80 and put on the 92. So if you look underneath there, there's no axle. It's gone. So I put it over on the 92, and you can kind of see, yeah, still a little bit of dirt in there, but I do have some uh, upper reinforcements that I'm going to put in the torque boxes prior to putting the 8.8 .8 back into this. Now... Now all of the rear suspension arms that came out of the 80, I have kind of mixed up. So the lowers I've used over on the 92 just to dispose it, take it to the salvage yard. Unfortunately, the uppers on the 92 were bent, at least the left side was, when it was hit in the rear and crushed in the rear. So I'm going to reuse the upper uh, suspension arms from the 80 and put them back in the 80, but it's going in with the 8.8. .8. And that's just temporary... I eventually plan to replace them with new bushings and replace the bushings on the axle. But for right now, I'm going to save my money and just run with some pretty basic suspension pieces. And uh, I'll eventually come back and do that later on with some good quality stuff. So here's the 92, obviously the strawberry color. Here's the 92 up underneath. And if you notice right here, that's actually the spare from the 92 that I got at home with. So... It won't actually take a regular size tire, even a, a 205 tire, it will not even fit on there because the quarter is so crushed. So I have put the spare donut back on that I'll use to roll up on the trailer before I take it off to take the body to salvage. So what's left on the 80 now, as you can see, the K member's still in there, so I need to take it off, So which is the, what, 6-8 bolts that takes it out. I need to disconnect the steering arm from the steering column inside the car down to the K member or the rack and pinion because I'm gonna reuse that piece but not use the rack and pinion, it's going to scrap. And then the sway bar mounts inside there. Once I have that done, I'll literally just roll it right over under the 92 there. And I'm gonna to hope to just basically really just roll it straight out under the 80, put it over on the 92, or roll it in place jack it up just a little bit, hit some bolts in it, and uh, just put the minimum I need to to get the pieces to stay there to be able to roll them on a trailer and then take it salvage. All right, so now that the red car is in here, I'll show you if I look down in there, out of the uh, Jotmon here, no K member. If you look over there, dirty K member. So it's out, I actually, uh, Kind of had a little difficulty taking it apart. Whew, what? It's gone. So now I've got the uh, black car stripped and the rear axle's out, K members out. It's literally a, a chassis, a chassis on jack stand. So I can start uh, degreasing the rest of the un interior, interior, under the car, and uh, doing everything else under the rear axle. So I can put in the torque reinforcements and then start cleaning up this engine bay, getting the rust out, getting it repainted. Still haven't decided what color I'm going to paint it, but it doesn't matter. So the seats, 
sitting right here that are out of the black car. Those are going to be put in the red car because they are going to the salvage yard and I've got the rear seat kind of sitting up here out of the way. So those seats need to go in there so I need to unbury this car. If you look, I've got crap all in it so I need to take that out, put the seats in, put the other crap back in. It's just a game of kind of like what goes first and Tetris and all the other good 80s video games that I miss playing. So with a little more work, the old four-cylinder engine, cave member, and everything else are now in the red car. Bye-bye, four-cylinder. So kind of behind you, you can look and see that I have plenty of room now. So obviously the engine has gone off the floor. The seats are gone off the floor. I can now uh, work on bringing some of the stuff I put outside in the weather, like the old fascia and that. I can probably put it back in here. Or maybe leave it outside until I'm done uh, putting this thing together. Everything else is uh, pretty weather tight. I'll blow everything out and uh, I may not bring it back in. I just may use a floor space to maybe do uh, some ballroom dancing. Ta-da! So that is it. Now, engine's in. Obviously, suspension's in. I've got some tires on the 92 so I can drop it down and take it off of the jack stands. So I did cheat a little bit. I cut off two coils off of the front springs on the 92 because the four cylinders are extremely long and they're really hard to compress. I tried using some cheap, simple spring compressors I did on the Versa a long time ago. Wasn't gonna happen. So I just used a cutoff wheel, cut off two inches or two links, I guess two coils. Cut those off, toss the extras in, and uh, put the springs in. They went in just fine, lifted with the jack, connected up the struts. Now, I did have to grind out the strut holes just a touch to get the uh, older strut threads through, but everything is there. So once it's back on the wheels, I can be able to roll it out, and then we'll push it up on a trailer. I'm going to take the wheels off. I'm going to keep those and sell those because they're actually pretty decent tires, so... Maybe 50 to 100 bucks to get out of those, and that'll go right back into the budget. And then I've got my Cobras, my 95 Cobra R replicas, the chrome ones, with a spare up for a few hundred bucks. And those will go, and that's all going back in the 80s. So I'm going to call today a good day. So with that, I bid you adieu. Adios. Adieu. Adios. And goodbye.